this is New Amsterdam Vape, and in this video I'll be reviewing the Aspire Nautilus X. The Nautilus X is a small and simple tank with restricted mouth-to-lung airflow that provides a lot of flavor. The coils for the Nautilus X are similar to the Cubis, drawing air from the top and creating an almost leak-proof tank. Despite the small size, the Nautilus X performs quite well for flavor chasers. The Nautilus X is 22 mm in diameter and has a height of 40 mm from the base of the deck to the top of the drip tip. The liquid capacity is quite small, at 2 milliliters. The tank breaks down into the deck, the coil that screws into the deck, the glass window, the top piece that screws into the coil, and the small Dalrin drip tip. The Nautilus X only comes with these pieces and a spare glass window and coil. The coils for the Nautilus X are 1.5 ohm Canthal coils that are rated for 14 to 20 watts. These coils are specially designed to be leak proof drawing air from the top, down into the coils, then back up again to the drip tip. Looking at the Nautilus X up close, it's definitely on the smaller end compared to most tanks. The top airflow has two small slots at the base of the drip tip. The entire top turns freely, allowing you to throttle the airflow. The Delrin drip tip is not a standard 510 drip tip and is quite small, fitting snugly on this one O-ring. The top piece has grooves, making it easy to get a good grip to twist it off from the rest of the tank. The coil screws into the deck and the top piece, holding the tank together. The coils are quite large, with two fairly large wicking slots to allow liquid into the coils. The airflow on the top is very interesting, with one hole that draws from the airflow slots into the coils, and a separate hole flowing up to the drip tip. The bottom of the deck has a non-adjustable pin on the 510 connection. I had no problem making contact on most of my devices, but I would not use this with a mechanical hybrid mod. The design of the Nautilus X is very simple. Just screw the coil into the top piece and then into the deck and it's all set, making this tank very beginner friendly. It's important to prime the coils before you fill up the tank with liquid. When I prime the coils, I like to apply just a little bit of liquid at a time on the wicking slots until it's fully absorbed into the cotton. Do this repeatedly on both sides until the coil has absorbed a good amount of liquid. To fill the tank, screw the coil into the base of the deck and make sure it's screwed in tightly. Fill the tank with liquid until it's just below the lip on the top of the coil. Any more than this and the liquid can leak out when you screw on the top piece. Carefully screw on the top piece onto the coil. After filling the tank with liquid, I like to let it rest for at least 5 minutes. This gives the coil time to absorb liquid so the wicks are fully saturated. You can also do a few dry pulls to help draw the liquid into the coils. With the 1.5 ohm coil, I tested it between 5 to 25 watts, but found it best around 15 watts. The airflow is very restricted on the Nautilus X, allowing mostly mouth-to-lung inhales. It is possible to do a direct lung inhale, but it's more restricted than many other tanks. I really like the flavor with this tank, especially at a low wattage like 15 watts. This is not a cloud chasing tank by any means, but I'm perfectly okay with that. If you're looking for a flavor chasing tank, the Nautilus X is a good choice. I like these low wattage mouth to lung tanks for when I'm out and about and don't want to blow giant clouds on the sidewalk or out of my car. Moving on to the pros and cons, as a pro, the Nautilus X is a very flavorful low wattage mouth to lung tank. There's too many cloud chasing high wattage tanks out there so I'm glad manufacturers aren't forgetting about the mouth-to-lung crowd. I really like simplicity, and the Nautilus X is very simple. There's only a few parts, the coils are easy to prime, and the tank is easy to use. A lot of gear is aimed towards hobbyists, and requires a bit of knowledge to use, but this tank is simple enough for any beginner to pick up and figure out. The price is another pro. You can get the Nautilus X for $35, which comes with two coils. At 15 watts, I found the coils lasted almost two weeks and performed very well. You can grab five packs of the coils for around $20. Remember, if you order from heavengifts.com, use the coupon code ANEWAMSTERDAM to get 15% off the entire store. Moving on to the cons, my biggest con with the Nautilus X is the top filling. When I first refilled the tank, the coil was screwed too tightly to the top piece, but not the deck, which pulled the coil out. This caused the liquid to fill the area that's below the tank. When pushing the coil back into that area, it does push most of the liquid out, but some of it gets trapped underneath. I do wish that the top piece was two separate pieces, one that screwed into the coil to keep it together, 
and a part that screws into that, which reveals the top filling slots. The coils are marketed as being leak-proof, and they almost are. Most of my tanks will leak a bit from carrying them around during the day, going from different temperatures, but the Nautilus X does not have this problem. One thing I did notice is that when taking off the top cap, the vacuum in the tank will cause the coil to suck up too much liquid, leading to a lot of spitting back when you first use it after filling. When the coil floods from this, it can leak from the drip tip and the airflow holes, but otherwise it doesn't leak anything during normal use. A con for a lot of people will be the small 2 milliliter liquid capacity. I found that on an average day, I have to fill the tank at least twice during the day, which can be a pain. There is an adapter available to extend the tank, and it comes with a longer glass window, which gives the tank a 4 milliliter capacity, but this adapter is only sold separately for around $8. I do wish that they would have this included so that the user has a choice with the liquid capacity and the size of the tank. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Nautilus X. In my personal day-to-day -day vaping use, I prefer low wattage mouth-to-lung vaping, and this tank fit in perfectly for me. While I like blowing clouds, I do prefer flavor. This is also a great traveling tank that doesn't draw too much attention at wattages below 15. If you're a beginner looking for a simple tank, or an experienced vapor looking for a flavor tank, then this is the tank for you. This is New Amsterdam Vape, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.